Welcome folks, Technivers here. Today we're going to be taking a look at three new mods, excuse me, technically four new mods for the Ender 3 V2. These are all control knobs and they are designed in Fusion 360. So we'll take a closer look and I'll get you those files. We'll jump right into it right now. Technivers channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash technivers. All right, and here we have our four knobs. I do plan on doing quite a few more knobs than this. I do have the generic knob, which is basically a copy of the original Ender 3 knob, or excuse me, Ender 3 V2 knob. Then I have a couple of variations. This biohazard variation is pretty nice, and this one is listed under trifecta, but my favorite of the four is this one right here, and this one's listed under the rotary knob. I printed this face up like this with support. I had no problems. It came out really, really nice. Although I think I'm going to flip it around and do another version with another knob actually around this, a wheel that will rotate as I spin it. Well, let's jump over to my printer and check this out because it's actually really, really cool how it works. And we will take a look. So it's a pretty accurate fit with these guys. It is pretty tight, but they fit pretty well. So they come on and off relatively easily do take a little bit of wiggling but let's go ahead and I recommend doing this while the printer is off because you're gonna be pressing on this if you do this while the printer is on it will press buttons and do things that you don't want it to you can end up turning your printer to Chinese or something like that and that is obviously not optimal so let's turn the screen on here and I will give you a quick preview of how this works so basically obviously you have the click in the middle and then just this knob which scrolls through all your options. So let's go back. I like it better on this side. On the right side there. So pair. And yeah, I mean, pretty simple, pretty cool. Um, we can take a look at a couple of these other ones on here. Let me shut this off. Cause like I said, I don't want to do it with it on because you are, are pressing buttons. The biohazard looks pretty cool. I think we're going to settle for this one. This is the one I call the trifecta, and it fits pretty well. So we'll pop that on if I don't break everything. I knocked my mount loose. That's okay. That's okay. I need to tighten that up back there. So let's just take this guy off for now set it here we'll get this guy back on first real quick sorry about the mess folks stuff can happen obviously there we go There we go. All right. Easy fix. Pop this guy back on. So these mods are going to be available at the address down below, as well as all of my other mods. Um, they will be linked as well. So if you want, like, the side mount spool, the left side screen, any of that stuff, those will be in there as well. So thanks, guys. Don't forget to leave a like if you like these knobs. If you have any variations or anything, I'd love to see them. So feel free to throw those up on the Thingiverse, and we will see you in the next one. Well, that's it, guys. That's going to wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers, and so far I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel, but they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out. And know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link. Check out our Patreon link. Leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.